Welcome to yoga. All right, so we'll find a comfortable seat. If you have blocks or a strap, um, something to sit on, bring as much as you have as far as props and you can use anything around the house. We could use a belt instead of a strap, um, stack of books instead of blocks. We're talking about ways we can uh, balance the hormones. So we're using props if we have them. Good morning, find that comfortable seat. And just taking some big breaths here, sit up tall. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Yes, let's do that. Cramps. <laughs> we can do some poses for cramps for sure. All right, so take some big breaths here. Close the eyes, settle into your space. And then let's bring the palms together. And we're gonna rub our hands together here. So heating up in between our hands. So keep it here and just keep rubbing those hands together. Now the option is going to be to place them on your eyes, over your eyes. I'm gonna have to remove my glasses for that. <laughs> or over your belly if you're experiencing cramps today. You can bring these hands over the belly. So keep rubbing on just a few more seconds. Feeling that heat from the friction. All right, and release. Now bring those hands to the eyes or to the belly if that's where you're needing it more. And just feeling the warmth, the heat from the hands. Taking some big breaths here. And then we'll go ahead and release the hands and just breathe that in, close the eyes, take some slow, deep breaths. So slowing down the breath. So the idea with balancing our hormones is that that key word balance and not just one area that we are, are working towards balance, but in all areas to support our hormones. Our horm hormones are complex, and there's a lot to it. That's why I wanted to talk about the hormones throughout this whole month rather than just trying to fit it all in in 30 minutes in one class. So let's take one more breath here. And then we'll start to move. Let's make our way to a child's pose. In that child's pose, take the knees super wide. So wide knees, not wide knee child's pose. Bring the big toes touch. And then walk the hands forward. Take the forehead to the floor, or we have the we might have our block or a stack of books, creating a little pillow shelf for our forehead, so that our head is resting one way or the other on something. Could be the back of the hands here as well. Another great way to um, support and balance is by bringing in these props. So if you don't have the, you know, the yoga block, we could use books. If you don't have the yoga strap, we could use belts. So there's definitely things around the house we could use. Take a few big breaths here, letting the belly sink in between the thighs and settling into the floors, really feeling the floor underneath the body. Hey, Cheryl, Tony, Maria's in the house probably needing this today, <laughs> some breath. Linda, Mary, Simone. All right, one more breath here. Hey, Raina, Christina, Cam, Katie, Mary, Christine, Ellen, Medora. All right, let's go ahead and 
walk the hands in and we'll press on up to a tabletop position. Let's move with some cat and cow. Start moving with the breath. So as you inhale, lift the heart, lift the sit bones. As you exhale, we'll round the back, tuck the chin, tail. And just start to move with your breath, your own breath at your own pace. And really try to slow the movement down if you have the tendency to speed up a little bit in things, which that's me. <laughs> Unless I'm doing yin, then I can slow down, but try to slow that movement and breath down. A couple more rounds of breath. And that's another key to finding balance is to find that slow movement rather than our tendency to want to speed into things, kind of move quickly from one thing to the next. Finding that slow um, movement can help us just stay a grounded, Stay more in the present. All right, come back to our neutral spine. Walk the hands forward, tuck the toes. We'll come up and back into down dog. Take some breaths here, pedal out the feet, bend the knees. Let the head hang. You might shake the head out, yes, no here. Any movement, or it might just feel good just to hold. And if you are on your uh, menstrual cycle, the idea is to keep it very uh, basic, very mellow, not to necessarily push yourself too much, keeping that slower pace. All right, from your down dog, we'll lift the right leg up, take an inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward and we'll come into a low lunge. So release this back knee down, come on up. And let's sink the hips forward here. So we're gonna get into our hip flexor. Sink the hips forward and then lift the heart. So we're trying to open the belly as much as possible here and make sure we're not pressing the belly into the top of the thigh, make space there. And then lift the heart, maybe lift the arms. You might start to lift the gaze, taking it more into a back bend. And again, sinking those hips forward and then lifting up through the arms, fingers, Inhale here. Exhale, release the hands down, step back, down dog. One, two breaths here. Next inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot forward, release the back knee down, sink those hips forward. Yes, perfect. No rush here. We're trying to keep it a little slower than rather rushing. So sink those hips forward, lift the belly off the, the thigh, maybe add those arms, lift the heart, lift the gaze. This is a back bend where we're focusing on, so we're focusing on opening the front of the body, the belly, the chest, the heart. Even the throat could open a little bit if you take your gaze, or a little bit more if you take your gaze up. So let's take one more breath here, find length, and release those hands to the floor. Step back into our down dog, couple breaths there. Next inhale from your down dog, gaze forward. Let's slowly walk the feet forward to the top of the mat. So feet are apart, hips with, let's ragdoll, bend the knees. So again, this could be a great place to support the belly, bringing the belly on top of the thighs. That might mean you bend the knees a lot and then let the head go from there. Shake out the head, yes, no. And then on your next inhale, we'll slowly start to make it a our way up to standing, bend the knees a lot, let the head and neck be the last to come up. Woo. All right, Let's roll the shoulders up and back a few times. And then just finding your feet on the floor here, Tadasana, mountain pose. Our palms will face forward, open the heart, and then ground down through the feet. Feel free to close your eyes. We'll take some big breaths here. You could even take your hands to your belly, maybe breathe into the belly a little bit. 
And that's always great for calming, taking us off that ledge of anxiety or <laughs> those uh, worry thoughts we get in our brains. Finding that connection with the earth, that earth energy can help us ground and bring us back to our center. All right, so let's inhale those arms out and up. You can bring the palms together above the head. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Fingers can come to the shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Let's lower the knees, nice and supported, and then lower the chest all the way down to the floor. Flowing with our cobra, so tops of the feet down. Pelvis down, let's lift that chest, inhale. Off of the floor and then exhale, lower the chest to the floor. Doing this a couple more times. As you inhale, you lift the chest. You might press into the hands here and lift up a bit more. Exhale, lower to the floor. Make the spine long as you inhale. Maybe coming a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Let's do one more there. And this could look just like cat and cow. If we're not on our belly, you can come on to hands and knees, work the cat and cow. Exhale, come back to the floor, press up and back. Now you choose child's pose or down dog. Where is your en energy level today? Listening to that. If we're a little lower energy, maybe a little stressed, then we take it to child's pose. So really, listening to what we need, what our body needs. And this is a great place to practice it on our mat, paying attention, listening. All right, from your down dog, or come on up into down dog if you're not there, and we'll lift the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward. Now we're coming up into a higher lunge, but feel free to come back to that low lunge, Take the arms up, overhead or cactus arms. Yes, find your position. And then let's take it over into a, a side stretch. So which arm is this? Left arm, right hand can come on the thigh. We'll lift up and over to the right. So just tilting to the right here. Feel free to lower back knee down. And find some length there as we reach up and over. One more breath. Maybe taking the gaze over to the right. Come on up, inhale. Back to center. Exhale, plant those hands forward. Step back into our plank. Lower the knees. Then the chest to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Heart lifts. Exhale, press it back. Down dog, couple breaths. Next inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot forward. We're coming into that high lunge, other side. Come on up, nice and slow. No need to rush, we have plenty of time. Sink into our lunge, find your arms, your balance. And then we'll take it into that other side. So lowering the left arm, reaching the right arm up and over, tilting to the left. <laughs> Find your balance, find that side, lengthening, stretch, beautiful. Yes, looking good. Amanda, Anne Marie, beautiful, keep it here. And Linda, <laughs> all right, come on up. Back to center, and then we'll release those hands, step it back into our plank, inhale. Lower the knees, chest to the floor, exhale. Cobra as you inhale, you might come up a little higher, open the heart. And then let's everyone come up and back to our wide knee child's pose. Take some breaths there.
So another great way to bring balance is routine, having some sort of routine, even if it's a small five minute routine to start, couple minute routine. A great uh, place to bring routine into your day is in the morning, because we tend to be a little bit more consistent starting in the morning. That way we don't miss it throughout the day. So having a routine in the morning, whether it's sitting in meditation, first thing, or just whatever you feel like you need. Um, maybe it's reading, having a few minutes of reading in the morning, something that we do every morning the same. And that could be include brushing the teeth <laughs> and all, all of that, that self-care routine as well, or hygiene. All right, come on up and we're gonna take our right shin forward. Now, if you have a block or a cushion or pillow, take that um, next to you. We will use it if you would like. We'll take the right shin forward into our pigeon. We could take this onto the back in a figure four position if this doesn't feel good for the knee. So keep it up here. Great place to stretch and breathe or we start to lower forward coming to the forearms. And then supporting the heart here. So with the block underneath the heart or maybe a folded up cushion. But if you can come lower here, support the chest in some way and then the head as well if possible. And then settle in here. We'll take some big breaths. So supporting the body whenever we can. Can be very powerful and supportive. Sometimes we just need a little support, right? And that could come from a yoga prop <laughs> to feel that support or that earthy grounded vibe that is beneficial to us. If you're like me, my mood is very affected at that time of month, around that time of month. And I also get extra um, hard on myself on those times. So just knowing that I have that support, that earth energy or my body is supported can translate. <laughs> Let's take a couple more breaths on this side. Perfect, on your next inhale, we'll slowly start to come up. And we'll just take that right leg back or just switch it out if you're on your back. And shake out that right leg. And then we'll take the left shin forward as you're ready. Set it up. Back leg extends long. And then lower down. So if you're on your back, you're supported by the earth. You can use your hands to hug on to that knee into the chest as you stretch the opposite hip. <clears throat> support the chest, support the head, one or the other or both. Settling in, breathe, take some big, big breaths. Notice how we feel here. Notice what comes up mentally, physically. Our self-awareness is a huge component for finding balance. So that is a great place to start. It's just bringing that awareness, awareness to 
how our body feels throughout the month, different times of the month. Also keeping track of our menstrual cycle is a great way to bring awareness to what's going on. All right, let's take a few more breaths here on this side. And then on your next inhale, feel free to stay in for a couple more breaths if you need it. But we'll slowly start to make our way up. Take the left knee back to meet the right. You can shake out that leg a little here. All right, let's make our way onto our back. And if you have a blanket or pillow, we're gonna place a little something over our belly. I'm gonna use just the folded up blanket and it doesn't need to be very, it can be very light. So we're coming into a supine butterfly. This is for you, Ellen. <laughs> this is a great way when you're feeling crampy to come into this position and support it if you can. So those blocks work great on um, underneath the thighs or knees around there. And then placing the pillow or blanket, draping it over the belly. Or if you don't have anything handy, we can again come to that rubbing of the hands, coming back to that, getting that heat, and then placing the heat of the hands over the belly. Or draping pillow or blanket. And just settle in here. Arms could come out into a T position or maybe more overhead, opening the shoulders a bit more. And just settle in here, feel the support of the floor. Let the body relax into the floor. take some breaths. So this practice is a little uh, just more mellower and slower than what the regular vinyasa <laughs> classes may be. We're talking about balancing the hormones so we're adding more of an earth element rather than that fiery element which could <laughs> which isn't always beneficial for balancing because we already have a lot of fire um, around us. Fire is like, say, screens or just kind of a um, chaotic. We have a lot of chaos going around us right now, <laughs> which could be that fire energy. So we're really needing earth energy, even without our hormones. <laughs> we're needing that grounding, grounding sensation. Also, our society is just quick. We're quick pace, going from one thing to the next. So it's our job to take care of ourselves and find balance is to find that slower pace, some way or another, whatever that means to you, so that we can balance from everything else around us. Now feel free to stay here or we're gonna make our way into plow or waterfall. I'll give you two options. If you are menstruating today, I would stay here and not go upside down. Just going upside down just reverses the flow of, of energy more so. Um, so you just wanna stay more in this type of position. If you're moving into plow with me, take the hands to the outside of the knees, hug the knees in. 
And this is our first option, waterfall. You could just take the legs up over the hips and just getting this inversion in the body. Or we can start to, let's take our hands to the floor on either side of the hips and you'll start to lift your hips up, keeping the legs as straight as possible and reaching those toes overhead. You may support the lower back with your hands and your toes might touch the floor, might, maybe not, but do keep the gaze up rather than turning side to side. Keep the neck neutral and make sure we're not placing too much weight in the neck. It's more on the shoulders here than it is the neck. Couple breaths. This is a great way to compress our uh, thyroid that's uh, around the front of the throat there. So take a couple more breaths here. So our chin is really pressing into the chest in this plow. All right, let's go ahead and release. You could bend the knees here, take the knees on either side of the head for a breath or two. And then as you're ready, we'll slowly make our way back into knees into the chest. Take a breath there as you inhale. And exhale, we'll straighten those legs out. Come into Shavasana, find relaxation. Extend the arms, palms face up. And then feel free to come back into the butterfly if that is calling you. Otherwise, we'll take our final rest. Straight legs, straight arms. Maybe closing out the light by bringing an eye pillow over your head or a shirt, towel could work just as good. And settle in, settle in here in the body. And another uh, way to bring a routine is what we're already doing with our V-Fit, right? We're showing up continuously keeping that routine of health, fitness in our day-to-day. -day. So you all are doing so amazing. And thank you for being here. We'll just take a few more seconds and then I'll log you off, but try to stay here as long as you can. Give yourself the gift of this stillness and this quiet, even if it's for a minute or two, longer after I log out. Take a breath in and a breath out. And the light in me sees, honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Thanks for being here. Enjoy your rest.